Hello everyone and welcome to this video about Silicon City version 0.20. Uh, the version is not available yet but I wanted to give you some updates about what's going on because I am very sorry it's been a long time you didn't have any news but still the development is still going on and I wanted to give you some updates about all the work that is uh, being done inside the game. And as I said in the previous video, now the new feature that is coming is about roads. So this is going to be an epic move forward in the game. It's going to be very complex addition to Silicon City. The whole road system, uh, including avenues and intersections and traffic lights. Uh, and I'm going to tell you everything about it. So let's go. But first, uh, we're going to see what's about the original idea uh, that comes from Rush Hour. Rush Hour, this is it. This is the software I've been working on for the past years before starting Silicon City. Sadly, it has never been released. But it, this is a traffic simulation software where you can like drag some roads and make some intersections and lanes and see the behavior of the cars and see how traffic is made so yes we are going to have something like this inside silicon city uh, i am planning to integrate this car traffic and lanes inside the game so so far here we are uh, i have designed some avenues with multiple lanes as you can see we have like here two lanes coming in and two lanes coming out of the avenue when we drag them uh, the intersection are automatically generated when you place a piece of road next to another one. And you can see the length of the roads that's going to result. So if you want to have a 4x4 four four zone, uh, it's easier to see where you're at and the size of the zones within the roads. Uh, so here there's like all these white uh, triangles you can see are the lanes. It is not implemented yet inside the game. Maybe you're going to see here some cars or pedestrians going by. They're just using the blocks to travel on, but not the proper uh, lanes, like one or two lanes on the streets. But in the future, uh, it's going to be we're going to have something like this uh, here, like with single lanes and double lanes crossing. Uh, here, this is an example of rush hour that generates intersections when you drag and drop some single roads against avenues. Uh, so I am planning to generate something like this for a Silicon City. Of course, it's going to use the grid system of the city, but the resulting uh, intersections will be similar and the car behavior is going to be the same. So you can expect the same thing inside the game. And as well, the traffic jam that's going to result from this. Here you can see, like, there is a green red light that is causing a lot of traffic. I mean, you understand, this is the classic behavior of an intersection. So, back to our game. As you can see, this is way easier to drag some zones uh, inside the city. And now, the uh, roads can be parallel to each other. Here, if I drag a horizontal road, next to another horizontal road. They're not gonna connect automatically. You need lanes and intersections to make them connect. This requires a little bit more of work when you drag your roads, but it allows you to have deeper and more complex road system. This goes as well when you delete some pieces of road. It's gonna, of course, delete the connections and the intersections with others. And then you're going to be able to uh, go further by drawing like uh, bridges. And re if you need to reconnect them, you have to do it manually. Uh, I will see if I can find another way to do this. But to, it sounds like the best way to do that is to let the user do manually the connections and not do them automatically. So, well, I guess that's it. I hope you're as excited as me uh, on this new feature. This is going to be insanely detailed traffic system inside the city. It looks like very realistic and I hope uh, all the city is going to bring new aspects such as uh, commute from house to work, 
will have to manage uh, all the, the details and make the city uh, as smooth as possible for the citizen. So, well, thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next updates and hopefully the integration of this road system, I guess, for November. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.